Well, Bethesda has itself in another sticky situation. A class action lawsuit? Let's talk about it. Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my Fallout brothers, ancestors, and lovers of the wasteland. How the heck is everyone doing today? Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more Fallout 76 news and the fun, ooh, and all the drama. Become part of the family and all the other weird things here because I have a beard, so reasons. Anyways, my friends, so, hmm, Bethesda? Is oh man, they are just having they're just having a bad couple weeks, huh? When you would think they should be celebrating the release of Fallout 76, instead they are not only mired in the muddy swamp of not happy community and people, but now there is a lawsuit in the wind. That is right, you heard me correct, that there are people planning a class action lawsuit against Bethesda for not fulfilling refunds for Fallout 76. And we'll get into the article from Gear, from Gear Nuke in just a moment. But let me just say this, um, I'm not gonna be a choir fanboy or apologist for Bethesda, and I will call them out when I think they're doing it wrong. Not fulfilling refunds? That's when I that that's when I have to step down and be like, okay, that's not cool. You you should do that because by not do by doing it and then not doing it, and taking it back is just silly. Uh, whether you love the game or hate the game, uh, whatever it is, if you no longer want to play it because of all the reasons that you have, in you know since you've been playing the game. Because of all, you know, the bugs, the glitches, and everything that um, a lot of people have been reporting, then, yeah, yeah, a company should refund it for you. And they should um, have balls enough to come out, come forward and say, yeah, yo, we messed up. Here's the refund. Um, come, please, try try us out again when, when, you, when we have things fixed. I think that should be a cool thing. But let's get to the article really quick. It's, it's, it's a bit, not of a long one, but let's, let's get into it. Let's see what this is all about. So for this is from Gearbox. A uh, law firm is planning a class action lawsuit against, against Bethesda for deceptive trade practices as they fail to fulfill refunds for Fallout 76. I'm going to butcher this name like everyone else is, but Migli Gashigo. So M&R LLP, a Washington, D.C.-based law firm, posted on their blog today that they're currently busy working on a deceptive trade practices investigation against the Fallout developer. MNR is currently investigating Bethesda Game Studios for releasing a heavily glitched game, Fallout 76, and refusing to issue refunds for PC purchasers of the game who found it to be unplayable because of its technical problems. While minor bugs and glitches are expected with the release of most new games, which, if I might just add something right quick, I don't think that is necessarily a thing that should be, but anyways... Gamers who have tried to receive a refund because of the game's uh, myriad glitches have been unable to do so since they downloaded the game, leaving them to deal with an unplayable experience until patches bring it back to a playable state. Several cases of Bethesda refusing to acknowledge refunds for Fallout 76 have been shared on social media in the past few days, with the developer noting that these users are ineligible for refunds. Many speculate Bethesda expected this to happen, which is why they refused to release the game on Steam, where, I don't really believe that one, but they continue, where they would be forced to comply with Steam's refunds policies. Fallout 76 Met Metacritic currently sits at a 50. Well, one could argue that's higher than when it was at, <laughs> making it not just the lowest rated Fallout game ever made, but also one of the lowest rated games of the year. A real shame for a series that was expected to challenge for the game of the year with each entry. So so here's the thing. I have, I have a couple quips with with this one. Um, let's talk about the unplayable nature. I can understand where some people are saying it's unplayable. I have had it crash on me a few times. I've experienced some of the bugs. Uh, other than that, I have been able to play. 
uh, the game and play it for a few hours without actual any interruptions. So for my experience on my end, I don't see that and I don't honestly see that being actually something you can sue a company over. Now I know the main aspect of this lawsuit is because they're not refunding uh, customers, which I, th I think they should do. Uh, and in, in the end run, um, for a good PR, I would start refunding people. I would, because it's horrible PR that you're not refunding people. And having a lawsuit against you for not doing so, that's just double trouble. You don't need that right now. Also, I think some of it also has to come down to patience of some of the players as well. People want to come out of the gate and play things perfectly as they are. It's the society we live in. We want everything nice and pretty right now. We don't want to wait for it. Now, as they did, uh, you know, they, they kind of sold us a little bit of a bill of goods when it came to Fallout 76. So I understand, and I think some of the arguments and the backlash out there is justified. Some of it, however, I think it's just some people just need to sit, you know, just to take a step take a stand back and just relax a little bit uh, but you know it is good that Bethesda has come out recently and we'll do a video on this uh, tomorrow about uh, they came out to communicate some things with us and how they want to be more communicative down the line which is good is something I talked about in my uh, previous video about Fallout 76 and some of the kerfuffle that is going on around uh, everywhere here. Do I think a lawsuit is necessary? Mm, I think it's enough, I, or at least I hope it should be enough to wake Bethesda up to get the refunds going. Will it go anywhere? I don't think so. I honestly don't because if Bethesda is protected underneath its all its rules and all the agreements that we all have to click and we never read, then by law they they are protected and the lawsuit will go nowhere. Um, we see thing we have seen things similar to this in the past and they just have never flown. I think. Uh, I, also adding into the lawsuit how the game is just extremely unplayable. I think that's just a thing that they're not even going to touch on this one. I think the biggest thing is the refunds on that, as I've said. What do you guys think? Uh, is this a smart thing that's happening, the class action lawsuit against Bethesda? Do they deserve it? Or do you think some people just need to take a stand back? And or do you think that Bethesda needs to, you know, get off its butt and actually offer refunds? Uh, so... That's just the thing right there. We'll see where this goes and if this goes anywhere. Right now, it's, you know, they're investigating the whole situation. It's not an actual official thing yet. They haven't, you know, you know, I don't know if they've actually all been served. They're not going to court over it right now. Um, there, it's all in the initial investigative stages to see what they can sue Bethesda over. So that's the thing. A lot of legalese and a lot of time. Uh, there. So again, I think it's in Bethesda's best interest and the community's best interest if Bethesda would just go ahead and fulfill those refunds for those people who want it. Uh, for those of us who don't want it and want to continue playing the game, how about you just offer us some free atoms or, you know, fix your damn atom shop. We'll talk about that in another video too. <laughs> but I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to stick it out in this game. I'm not going to walk away from it. And I'm going to see, because I, I have some faith. It might be a little bit of faith, but I've still got some. Anyways, guys, put your comments in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that like button if you like what you see here. And hit that subscribe button. Become part of the family here. The Freak Show of YouTube, the Black Sheep of Gaming. My friends, have a good one. And if you want to support me on a more personal level, make sure you hit that uh, little Patreon link down there and take a look there for all your perks and all that fun jazz right there. And stay tuned. Merch. Merch is coming in 2019. My friends, have a good one. We'll see you later. Good day.